Have you ever wondered what is the shortest recorded war in history? Picture this, the late 19th century, the year is 1896, the date, 27th of August. This marks the beginning of the Anglo-Zanzibar War, a conflict remembered not for the scale of the battle, but for its brevity. It's a tale of colonial power, a sultan's defiance, and a war that was over almost as soon as it began. Let's dive into the chronological order of events that transpired during this brief but significant war. It all began with the sudden death of Sultan Hamad bin Thuwaini. The year was 1896 and the island of Zanzibar was a protectorate of the British Empire. The unexpected passing of Sultan Hamad left a power void, and Khalid bin Bargash seeing opportunity took the throne without British approval. The British, however, had different plans for the Sultanate. They preferred Hamoud bin Mohammed, who was more amenable to their interests. Basil Cave, the British consul, issued an ultimatum to Khalid, step down or face the consequences. Khalid was undeterred. He was a man of resolve and ambition, not one to be easily swayed by threats. He responded by fortifying his palace, gathering his loyal followers and preparing for a standoff. He was ready to protect his claim at all costs. Ignoring the ultimatum, Khalid fortified his palace, unknowingly lighting the fuse of the impending war. As dawn broke on August 27th, the brief but intense battle commenced. The British Royal Navy, a force to be reckoned with, unleashed a hailstorm of firepower on the Sultan's palace. Their formidable guns, trained on the palace, shattered the early morning quiet with a deafening roar. The Sultan's forces, led by Khalid, put up a brave fight, but they were grossly outmatched. The palace crumbled under the onslaught, its once majestic facades reduced to rubble. Despite their valiant efforts, Khalid's forces could not stand against the might of the British Navy. Casualties mounted on both sides, but the toll was heavier for the defenders. The fierce battle, however, was as brief as it was brutal. Within less than an hour, Khalid's forces were forced to surrender. The deafening sounds of gunfire were replaced by an eerie silence punctuated only by the occasional rumbles of the ruined palace settling. In just 38 to 45 minutes, the war was over, marking it as the shortest recorded war in history. The war, albeit short, had lasting implications. Sultan Khalid was arrested, exiled to Seychelles and later St. Helena. Britain, not wasting any time, installed a puppet sultan, Hamoud bin Mohammed, to maintain control. This shifted the dynamics between Britain and Zanzibar, with Zanzibar becoming a British protectorate. The island's sovereignty was eroded and the balance of power was forever altered. The Anglo-Zanzibar War, a testament to the fact that even the briefest moments in history can have long-lasting impacts.